Let's go on to a second way to access the same five notes using the same seven shapes. This gets a little bit tricky, but follow along here. So if we take shape one, I have five notes there. I have the G, A, B, and the D, and the E, right? I took out that fourth note. If I run up to the fifth shape and I don't play the third note, I will have the same five notes starting on these two. Because there's a D, right? So what I did was sort of flip the strings. I played the last two notes first and the uh, three notes last. And that lands in shape five with no third note. So right there, that's kind of the sound that you hear in Cliffs of Dover on the... Uh, that's, uh, that lick happens in Cliffs of Dover in that order. Right before the end of the... The end of the solo right there. I left out some parts, but I'm, I'm just kind of paraphrasing the idea there. So we play shape five. Shape five with no third note. And that's the same as shape one with no fourth note. So each one will have kind of a relative scale. So that's a good reason to practice one and five as one of your shape patterns, you know, so even if you do all the notes. And then do uh, one with no four and five with no three. And again, all you did was reverse which strings you put the two notes on. So you start with the two and end with the three. See so that's the same two notes? And then that's an octave higher. So let's do that with all of them. Let's take shape two, and that's going to correspond to shape number six. So two without the fourth. And then six without the third. It allows you to play the same notes in a different spot of the guitar, and it allows you to access a different sonic character because this line sounds a little different than playing it, you know. Same scale, but that sounds a little... When you play it there, it sounds a little bit different. So it's a different little texture, but same five notes. So shape two without the fourth, shape six without the third. And then the next one will be shape three without the fourth. And that will be like shape seven without the third. So that's kind of neat. If you look at it in certain ways and make other connections, we could see shape seven on the top strings here. So I switch lanes from lane one to lane three or low lane to high lane, identifying that I had a shape three here and a shape seven there and played the same scale because I know they're related. One without the, the fourth note and one without the third note, and I get the same five notes. And then you move up to the fourth shape, and that would be like playing, so the end of that one's like G to A, right? So that's shape one. Shape one without the third note. And then shape five is like shape two without the third note. And then shape six. So there's no fourth note with shape six. We're gonna move to shape three without the third note. See, same notes. There's shape three on the top and shape six on the bottom. Then the last one, shape seven, with no fourth, is shape four with no third. Have fun exploring these new tonalities this week that are inside of the major scales and they add on to the six note major scale shapes.